I'm going to demonstrate the new stretch tool that's available in version 2.2 of the TF Rubies. I'm going to start by just grabbing a post component out of my library, placing it in the model. Let's make a copy of that. And now I'll grab a GERT that's got two tenants and place that in the model. And we know that the shoulder line belongs on the face of the timber that's going to get the mortise. And I'm just going to move this up to, say, six feet. Now, what you don't want to do is use the built-in scale tool. Let me show you why. If I zoom in on this and use the tape measure tool, I can see that the tenon is six inches long. And if I use the scale tool, the whole timber will stretch and distort as I'm using the scale. And the tenon is now seven and a half inches long. That's not at all the behavior I want. See how it's uh, pulled out of its pocket over here? So let me just undo that. And I'll show you the proper way to do it. Now, before the stretch tool was released, this was the proper way to stretch a timber. You double click it, select everything at this end of the timber, and then use the move tool. Grab it by the shoulder, being careful to stay on the axis. I'll use the shift key to lock onto that axis. And then you move it to the destination face. Then you uh, drop the move tool and click somewhere outside the timber to deselect it. Okay, that's the old way. But let me show you how easy it is now that we have the stretch tool. I'm just going to undo all that. I've got the stretch tool mapped to the S key instead of the built-in scale tool, and I recommend you do that. So all you do is select the timber, pick the scale tool, grab the source, grab the destination, and you're done. Just two clicks. It's that easy. 